Welcome. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview of some of the basic features of Figaro. As you can see, we're in the designer with a new scene. There's a new scene button here. You can create multiple new scenes. And each scene is really a, a project that you can work on and you can copy and paste between the projects. It's very handy. Each scene has a grid and it has a grid size for people who want to work with precise mathematical measurements. And the grid size can be changed with clicking in the grid, left click in the grid, left and the right bracket keys on your keyboard. You can change the grid size. Let's put a cube down and let's make a snap to grid. You can do the same thing over here, snap to grid, but this is just for the cube. Left mouse button, drag, and put the cube down, select it. If you want to look at your cube, use your right mouse button. Right mouse button and move your mouse around. Shift right mouse button. Moves everything around. Control right mouse button. Zooms in and out. Zooming can also be done with a scroll wheel if your mouse has that. And with the scrolling, it depends where your cursor is. If it's in your object and you scroll, you zoom in your object. If your uh, cursor is all the way on the right or on the left or the top. So it all depends on where you are. If you get totally lost, right click. There's a local menu for top view. Right click, local menu. There's a front view. And so you can start uh, again in a view that you're more comfortable with. Okay, we have one cube. On the local menu, there's copy paste as well. So let's do a copy and a paste, and it creates two cubes. Let's move one over a little bit. The same thing can be done quicker. Let's get rid of it. There's an undo button here. One, two. Now we have one cube. Select it. Select it in the air and use the space bar. Creates another cube. Now we have two again. Let's select. If you want to select both cubes, you can. Uh, one is already selected. Use the control and click on the other uh, cube. You have both of them selected. If you click on the grid, nothing is selected. Use the shift and mouse select all the ones and you select both of them. If you want to move both of them together, let's see if that works like this. That works like this for, with the selection. Another way to do this is uh, to make a hierarchy. You s grab this cube in the explorer and you put it on top of the other one. Now if you select the top one, moves both of them around. If you select the, just the lower one, you can select this one. Select the top one again, select both of them, there we go. The undo. The undo is really nice. You can basically see, you can do, you can go all the way back. It has a really nice undo. And you can redo again. Redo. Now you have two again. So very powerful buttons. You definitely want to remember these. These are your friends. Let's look at the polygons. Uh, for select a cube. Let's look at polygons. Select one and it turns the edges turn red. So you can see that it's selected. You want to select multiple, control and select another one, select another one. Now you can see they're selected. Select, click on the grid, shift and drag. Now you can see that these are selected, but if you turn around, these are not selected. So it doesn't select the ones that can't see. Select on the grid. Shift Alt mouse select selects everything, no matter if you can see it or not. So the whole, all the sides, the polygons of the cube are selected. Click on the grid again. Works the same with vertices. Vertices are a little bit different. If you click on one, it doesn't uh, turn red, but there are these things for moving, uh, so you can move them around. Undo. If you want to select multiple. Shift selects multiple again. Now, same thing again with this. If you select multiple, but if you turn around, you can see the last one is not selected. 
click on the grid, shift alt, multi select, selects everything. One more thing with the cube, if you want to name it, you can name it over there. My cube. Click over there and you can also rename your scene. My scene. Okay. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. You can watch other tutorials at figaro.io.